Here comes the deliciously evil pain. I am going to tap five to play my corpse hatch. First, okay. destroy target non-black creature. That non-black creature is going to be your soul's attendant, but with the totem right. armor, so the totem armor dies. Uh, how do I unattach? I... There it is, unattach. Wink. And oh, then yeah. I put into play two colorless Eldrazi spawn creature tokens. Which means I gain two life. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> alright, alright. I, I, I knocked her down a peg. You're still gaining life, which means that I really need to start hammering your life points. Swing in for four. Um, alright. I'll take four. And that is my move. Uh, huh. Sadly, I did... Uh, sadly, I did not get another uh, another island, which is what I really wanted, but... Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to tap on click for oh, all this to draw a card. <laughs> it's still not another island, but... I'm sorry, go on. I'm oh, going to no. Soul, soul Sisters and look at Soul Sisters. And then I'm going to cast Transcendent Master, oh. allowing me to gain two more life. Two, two more life, because now you gain two life for every creature. Marvelous. And I will end. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, yes, the turn is mine. My god, we're having a good time. Drawing a card. Oh, thank god, it's a card that's actually going to be useful. Um, I'm going to tap one for my Ancient Stirrings. Okay. I am just going to look at the top five cards from my library, not reveal them to my opponent like a foolish person. Five. Damn it, it's four lands and a non-land. Um, so I'm you gonna... can get a land? I'm going to grab the fucking Evolving Wilds because I need to keep thinning my deck out. And then I got to and I got to look at those same cards again and put them on the top on the bottom of my library. Top 4. Oh, right. Highlight. Move to bottom. Okay, and there we go. Ancient Stirrings is done. I'm going to put an Evolving Wilds down. Tap it, sacrifice it in order to put a swamp on the battlefield tapped. Here's my swamp. I'm going to pay four to level up my Gouldra's Assassin two times. Mm -hmm. He's a one. He's a two. He is now a two-two with kick for one black to give target creature minus two, minus two until end of turn. What the hell? I, I went to set power and toughness. Two slash two. Uh, next. Is that, that might be it? I'm thinking. Oh, I can tap my Jiraga to add two to my mana pool and level her up again. Mm, true. And she is a 1-2. I should probably reflect that in power and toughness. And I did play a Swamp this turn. No, 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 that's right. I pulled it with, I pulled it with Evolving Wilds. I'm thinking that I should just end my turn. Because okay, I have a two, because I have a two-two with death touch. It's very nice. Mm, Makes me feel right, safe. Right. All right, I'm gonna go with evolving wilds. Nice. Uh, no, not, not view top. Now view library for an island. Uh, into play tapped, and then I'm gonna tap my enclave cryptologist to draw a card. <sighs> I think what I want to do here. Um, Alright, I'm going to play another Enclave Cryptologist. <laughs> nice. So I gain two life. Ah, uh, okay. And then I'm going to play a Kabira Vindicator, meaning I gain two, yet two more life. Yet two more life. <laughs> Alright, and I will end. Oh, brother. Oh, man. Okay. We're getting full. Our fields are getting pretty full. Oh, boy. Let's go Evolving Wilds. I gotta keep digging. Keep me digging. I'm gonna pull another Swamp from my library. Pull the Swamp. I am going to pay four mana, two blacks and two non-blacks, to make my Gouldra's Assassin a level four. Mm -hmm. Now that it is a level four, it becomes a four-four, which I will reflect with power and toughness. And as a level four, I can tap hit, tap him, 
And I'm going to inflict minus four, minus four on your on your Kabara Vindicator. All right. My uh -huh. Kabara Vindicator is destroyed. And next, um, I am going to go to. Damn it! I I don't want you to attack me, but you only have one creature that you could really attack with. But it does more damage than what I could do, so I'm going to end my turn. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, all right. Um, I'm going to tap my uncle Cryptologist to draw a card. Nice. Booyah. Keep, keep drawing. You're I'm winning this race. <laughs> um, and then... I'm, try I'm trying to do some maths here. Maths can be hard. Maths can be hard. Needs is the calculators. Uh, sadly, I kind of have to do it now, don't I? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to level up my Transcendent Master six times. Beautiful. Uh, meaning he is now uh, maybe now he is a uh, six six with lifelink. Six six with lifelink. I cannot make uh, him become no, that's not an it's not annotation. It, and and he is the Shit. transcendent. I don't six, know how to clear the annotation. <laughs> try to not six sixty five. <laughs> All right, try to try to just put put him in your graveyard and put him back on the battlefield. Mm. There you go. Uh, and <laughs> and he is a level six. six. Oh boy. Did we really have? Did, is this is this really what it has to come to, Gerda? It's crazy amounts of life against crazy amounts of power. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll end. <laughs> Good answer. Oh, you ended your turn. Sorry. Yes, I end. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. All right, Eldrazi Temple. Blah. Um. If only I didn't have to tap the assassin in order to inflict minus four, minus four, but I'll do it anyway. Because I'm going to inflict minus four, minus four on one of your soul attendants. Okay, then. Ha ha ha. And next, I am going to level up my Jiraga Tree Speaker three times by paying a total of six mana. Okay. So now all elves I control have, um, you can tap the elf to add two greens to your mana pool. Also, he and, becomes a 1-4. Yes. And he also becomes a 1-4. After that, I'm going to end my turn. Okay. Passing. Uh, huh. I was wondering when I was going to get him. Okay. Um, I'm going to tap my Enclave Cryptologist to draw a card. And then I'm going to play an Eldrazi Temple. Nice. Um, can I? You can add a total of ninety or mana pool if you try to tr if you try to cast a colorless Eldrazi spell. Yeah, and I could do that, but I, I want to show off that particular combo later. So instead, I'm going to one, two, three. Yeah, I uh, one, two, three for venerated teacher, putting two level up counters on all uh, creatures with level up that I control. On each creature with level up you control. Oh yep. no! Those are counters to eight and. Fuck! Uh, set counters to two. Alright. Um, and then I'm going to level up my Transcendent Master four times. Good move. Yep, so now he's. Now <laughs> my fucking Death Touch can't stop it anymore. And it is 12 that I need, right? Yeah. Okay, and with that, I'm going to uh, tap my Enclave Crypt Cryptologist in order to draw a card and then discard a card. I will discard my uh, Sp uh, Sphinx of Magosi. <sighs> and now I'll swing at you with a 9 9. I have to set this up. I bet I you do. Uh, I'm just, I'm going to block with my Dagger Back Basilisk. Uh, All right. Your guys, your guys, indestructible now, and you gain and, nine life. Um, right, I do. Madness. And I will end. Absolute. Lunacy. Did I gain a life for venerated? You know what? It's already past my turn. 
You may gain one life. No, you, I missed you, it. You may gain one life. Okay, Miss so timing. yes, I missed it. <laughs> okay. Um, God damn it. I... Uh, all right, I can do this. I just, I, I, I just gotta, I gotta shut you down. That's all I gotta do is, is I just gotta shut you down. Ghoul Drive's assassin is gonna inflict minus four, minus four on your other soul's attendant. Okay then. Damn it! I failed. I failed to draw the arrow. I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. All right. Um. I. I need all those to cast one of those, don't I? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna tap my Enclave from Tall just to draw a card. Can't you see that blue makes game forever? <laughs> Actually, I'm not controlling your board like at all. No, actually, I'm the. It's it's weird. I'm the one who's controlling. You're the one who's winning. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play another Eldrazi Temple. Oh God, <laughs> there is so much fucking mana on the battlefield. Five, six. I'm gonna cast Sphinx of Magosi. Oh, nice. What is it? And what does he do? Nah, uh, he is a six-six, and I can play three mana to draw a card. Then he gains a one-one counter. And he has flying. Oh boy, that's All bad right. news, bears. Uh, I'm going to tap my Enclave Cryptologist to draw a card and then discard a card. I will discard this other Sphinx of Magosi. <laughs> and then I will swing at you for nine with lifelink. And I will block with an Eldrazi spawn token. All right, I gain nine life. There's like literally only one fucking card in my deck that can help me right now. And I will end. Maybe, maybe two cards, but I have to draw at least one of them. Come on. All right, eight cards in my graveyard. Fucking ten, ten lands, nine lands on my side of the field. Three cards, one card in my hand. Did I thin my deck up to not to actually draw a good card? I am going to tap. You're right, I gotta tap everything. Eleven. Ooh. To cast Ulamog, the infinite gyre. Oh, did we both pick? Yeah, we both picked Ulamog. Damn we it! We both picked Ulamog <laughs> first. I am going to destroy your Sphinx of your Sphinx of Magosi with him. All right. And then he keeps indestructible as a ten ten annihilator four, and he shuffles himself into my graveyard. He shuffles. Oh, he shuffles my graveyard into my library if he hits the graveyard from anywhere. Yep. Duh. I also could have done this a little differently, but that's okay. You have a two two ready to block. I am going to swing into you. With a 4-4. Four, four. Alright, I'll take 4. And that is my turn. Do your worst, Ulamog. <laughs> mm. Alright. Um, I'm going to tap this Enclave Cryptologist to draw a card and discard a card. I'll discard a training ground. Interesting. I'll tap this Enclave Cryptologist to draw a card. Alright. The drawing of the cards. I'll play an Eldrazi Temple. Uh. I'll cast a training ground. I'm scared. <laughs> activate a bow. Okay, activate a bow. Is it cheaper? Okay. Um. And. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'll cast Hand of Imrakul. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Not that it actually matters. You've got Ulamog out already, so I'm pretty sure I lose. There's still yeah. hope. I'm going to swing with Transcendent Master. And you're only swinging with the Master? Yeah. Okay, I will block with Ulamog. Alright. I gain 9 life. And... Um, oh, jeez, because they're both indestructible. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> that, and is so that is so shitty. That is so shitty. I don't think I've ever seen an indestructible lifelink. <laughs> oh, god damn it! <laughs>